What's going on? It's Emmanuel Long. We're ready for the lifestyle. And in this episode, we're actually going to discuss the SBA disaster loan and if your state qualifies for it and how you can go through the application process. I'll show you the exact link on this video. So stay tuned. Welcome back. And if this is your first time, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and comment below. Please let me know if this information is relevant to you. And also, if you want to, you can tell me exactly what content you probably would like to see or answers to questions that you may have. Don't forget to check the description below. I have some useful tips and tricks there and some links. If you want to get in contact with me, my email is also there. So you can reach out to me directly if you're looking for a one on one coaching. But definitely, let's get into this video. So recently, I actually put out a video with detailed description on um, the PPP loan. And if you're interested and you're self-employed and you needed help putting this application in, it's a video that I'm gonna put here at the end of this video. So you can check that out as well. Where I go through a deep, detailed instruction on how to fill out your application, the forms that's needed in order to fill out your application, in order to get it processed and it's very important to get it done before June 30th. So check out that video. I'll have the link in the description below. Also, um, at the end of this video, you'll be able to see it as well. So what I wanna do is actually show you the screen so you will be able to take advantage of the disaster loan offered by the SBA, but very important that you at least see exactly what they have going on because I believe in the lending terms that they have. I mean, it's some of the greatest rates I have seen in a long time. And because of that longevity that they have on a payment term, I think it's a real good uh, structured system for anyone that's self-employed to actually uh, use in their business, even now at this time. So if you're looking for any type of assistance, financial assistance, you should always check out the SBA to see exactly what new programs they may have. But I know a lot of us are looking for grants, so I'm gonna be coming up with a new video just for grants based on uh, disaster loans and also assistance for any business owner that may need it. So what you wanna do is start off by going to disasterloan.sba.gov backslash ELA backslash and this is the actual page that you can go on to check your EIDL loan application status, also your paycheck protection application status as well, and apply. So what you wanna do right here before you even go into the application, you wanna select the state that you're in to see if it's listed. And I actually open up another tab with one that was recent and it would show exactly what the incident is and how you can seek some type of help in regards to that loan. Next thing you wanna do is once you find an application or you find that there is a disaster declared in your state, what you wanna do is then you want to either create the account. For me, I already have one. So you can go ahead and create your account on that first page that I showed you. And what you wanna do is apply online. So it's gonna ask you, uh, are you applying for a business, nonprofit, homeowners, and renters? So you can also use this if it's directly affecting your personal uh, life as well, not only your business, but your, your personal uh, possessions as well. But for this video's purpose, I'm gonna actually only show you uh, for your self-employed business so you want to select whatever entity that you have for me I'm a limited liability company and what was affected in your business okay so let's just say this one we're gonna put that um we already have the idea alone but we're gonna put that right so here we go they want to know exactly what it is that's affected you're gonna press next
so I started to fill out this information what you want to do is fill out your correct information entirely and you want to go down here make sure all of this information in because this is how they verify you as well and this is going to be very important 18 um, you want to read through all of these right here to make sure that this this is correct information because this is how they determine if you are eligible to get any assistance I'll scroll down here and like I said read through it thoroughly so you can select items that pertain to you and this right here if anyone helped you but obviously you're self-employed you might be doing this yourself on this section and if you want to add any other information but um you can leave this blank as well okay sorry because oh hold on give me one second this is also something that you might want to change as well any affiliated business so that's because we we selected that we were we had an affiliated business. Let's, let's remove, oh, go back here. And we're gonna remove this right here. Because that, that makes the application process a lot more longer. And what you wanna do is actually start all of these right here. So just to be brief on this, you wanna if you have your your personal financial statement you want to get that done as well any schedule liability so if you've done any of your your documentation stating your your losses and um, any liens against your your company you want to put this these documents in there um, they're gonna give you an option to upload and also fill in the information but you I would you know probably commit to filling out this information prior and then uploading it and your, tra your tax transcript as well um, we're gonna ask for prior years so whoever is involved if it's a single member you want to go ahead and fill that out um, once you complete all of these sections right here this will be probably the last thing that you have to do is submit this application with supporting documents and your application will be done and if anything they will get back to you most likely through email first and schedule a call after. So that's all I have on this quick video. Don't forget to check out the latest video that I put out for the PPP loan. And it's perfectly for anyone who's self-employed. I go through the entire process, the application, the forms that's needed in order to fill yours. And don't forget to check out the business credit course that I have in the description where I'll teach you exactly how I went through and got all these approvals that you probably see on the other videos and don't forget to like subscribe and comment below let me know if there's anything or questions that I may need to answer for you guys that you're looking forward to hearing thanks again